Hey everybody, AJ here, and in today's video, we have a very special head-to-head -head for you guys. In front of me, you can see we have not one, but two Surface Laptop 4s in the Platinum Alcantara finish, both of the 13.5 inches, both have 16 gigs of RAM, and they look identical from the outside. There is, however, one major difference between the pair of them. To my right, your left, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 processor with six cores and 12 threads. And to my left, your right, we have the 11th gen Intel i5 processor with four cores and four threads. In this video, we're gonna put these devices head to head to see which processor is gonna be crowned king. I actually haven't run these tests on these computers before and I'm still actually in the process of setting them up. I'm gonna set them up identically so there's no unfair advantages for either computer. But if I was gonna put money on it, I would say the AMD with the extra cores and extra threads is gonna have the advantage over the Intel i5. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below as to which processor you think is gonna take it out and why. Of course, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of my content, hit that subscribe button as well. Without any further ado, let's get into these tests. So just to show you the devices here, you can see on the left-hand side here, we have the six core 12 processor AMD Ryzen 5 Surface Edition. And on the right hand side here, we have the four core eight thread 11th gen i5 processor, both of them with 16 gigs of RAM. And these devices are pretty much identical to the software that's installed on both of them. They're both plugged into charge. So this is gonna be a very fair test. And they're both running with their maximum performance turned on. The first test we're gonna run is Crystal Disk Mark, which is gonna tell us how fast the SSDs are inside of both of these. I'm not sure if they're using the same manufacturer for the SSD inside of both, but let's open up Crystal Disk Mark and see which one outperforms which. We're gonna keep all the settings on Crystal Disk Mark as standard, and we're just gonna hit all on both, and we're just gonna start that test right now. All right, so the results are in, and this one clearly goes to the Intel machine with the SSD outperforming in seven of the eight read-write speed tests. You guys can't hear this, but during the test, the fan on the Intel machine did kick off and it did get noticeable, whereas the AMD did actually keep Whisper quiet. But in terms of overall performance, the Intel device did outperform the AMD in terms of the SSD speeds. So the second test we're gonna put these CPUs through is the Cinebench R23. We're gonna test both the multi-core and the single core performance of the AMD and the Intel i5 processor. And before we get the test started, I just wanna let you know that I think the Intel is gonna perform better than the AMD when it comes to their single core performance but I think the AMD is gonna have the edge over the Intel counterpart because the AMD has, again, those extra two cores and four threads that just help with that multi-core performance and those workloads. Of course, this is a great time to remind you guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you're liking this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you wanna see more of my content, hit that subscribe button as well. So while the tests are running, I'm gonna have the task manager open as well so you can see what's happening with the CPUs while it renders these images. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so the results are in for the first multi-course Cinebench speed test between the AMD versus the Intel. The AMD scored 6,075 versus the Intel's i5, 4824. So the AMD edged out about 21% in performance improvement over the Intel i5 counterpart. What I don't think you can hear though is that now these machines have started to cool down, the AMD's fan turned off a couple of minutes ago where the Intel's fan was still going for about three or four minutes after the test had completed. So it seems Intel was running a lot hotter or at least it needed its fan running a lot longer to help cool it down after performing the multi-core threaded test. Now that these devices have cooled down, we're gonna run the single core CPU test of Cinebench R23. And again, I'm gonna have their task manager open so you can see how the CPU is performing while these are put under the test. So early on, almost 30 seconds in, we can see that the Intel is edging away compared to the AMD in the single core test. This is essentially what happened in the previous multi-core test, but in reverse. Right, and the single core R32 benchmark scores are in. And like we thought, the Intel beat out the AMD by quite a mile, about 30% increase over the AMD in the single core performance. The Intel scored 1,404 points compared to the AMD's 1,070. So the Intel was a clear winner in the single core performance. The next test on the list is the Geekbench 5. We're gonna look at both the CPU benchmarks as well as the GPU compute benchmarks. My guess for this one here would have to be that the AMD is gonna win in the CPU benchmarking test, but the Intel XA graphics I feel are gonna outperform the Radeon inside of the AMD. So without any further ado, let's get this started and see how they fare. Of course, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below of which computer you think is gonna win in the Geekbench 5 test. And if you had the choice between an AMD or an Intel Surface Laptop 4, which one would you go for and why? So the Geekbench 5 scores are in, and this one is actually a little bit more surprising to me. The AMD, of course, won in the multi-core thread, but only by 7%. It scored 5,938 against Intel's 5,524. So it only had a 7% lead. But in the single core threads, the Intel absolutely outpaced the AMD by 35%, or 1,455 points versus 1,085 in AMD. I think the reason for the bigger discrepancy with the Geekbench 5 test is that it is a much shorter test than Cinebench and therefore the processors weren't under heavy load for an extended period of time. Either way, the AMD scores another point when it comes to multi-core performance and Intel obviously for the impressive 30% gain in the single core performance. Now it's time to put the GPUs to the test using the Geekbench 5 GPU test. When it comes to the Geekbench 5 GPU test, I think this one for me was fairly obvious that Intel was gonna take the cake. Intel scored 15,565 against AMD's 11,623. Intel clearly winning by more than 35% in the GPU Geekbench 5 test. 
The last synthetic benchmark test we're gonna go through before we go into the DaVinci Resolve export test is Nova Benchmark. Nova Benchmark is a very quick comparison of your computer's main components, namely the processor, GPU, RAM, and of course the hard drive. This one is gonna be a little bit tricky to call beforehand because we know that AMD is gonna win when it comes to the processor, but we did see that the Intel actually has the faster SSD and of course the better graphics card. And because this is an overall comparison, I'm actually not sure who is gonna win, but let's find out. So these results were kind of interesting because Nova Benchmark is an overall computer test. AMD, like we knew, outperformed Intel when it came to the CPU, but when it came to the SSD, the RAM, and of course the graphics card, Intel actually performed better than the AMD variant. The AMD did win this one with 2,438 points overall against the Intel's 2,140, or about a 13% difference between the two. Okay, and now it's time for our final test, the one that I'm most excited about, which is exporting a file in DaVinci Resolve. On both of these computers, we have the exact same file, an 11 minute 40 second video clip at 1080p. They have the same titles and corrections made to them, and I have a feeling that the AMD is gonna outperform the Intel processor, purely because it has those extra cores and extra threads, and we've seen that it is handling multitasking better than its Intel counterpart. I also feel that the Intel fan is gonna get louder and noisier than the AMD, but only time is gonna tell. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below as to which processor is gonna win and why. With that being said, let's get this final test underway. All right, in an unsurprising fashion, the AMD exported the video in 12 minutes and 25 seconds, whereas the Intel took 15 minutes and 37 seconds to export the exact same video. So the AMD was a clear winner here in the DaVinci Resolve export test. So looking at the comparison of the Surface Laptop 4 AMD R5 versus the equivalent Intel i5 11th gen processor, I hope this gives you a bit more information about both devices and which one you would go for. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and which device you would go for and why. If you like this video, of course, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.